unseen footage of the WCW Nitro Grill opening. I'm in. The Nitro Grill, where the big boys eat. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. May 1997, grand opening. Uh, the grill remained in business for 16 months. Oh, oh, it's so cool. It was in Las Vegas, of course. Media event. Can I find the Nitro? Let me see if I can find this on another screen somewhere. God, look at the boys. Yeah, dude. Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. The hell's it going ready? Attending the Nitro Grill. Dude. Okay. Where is it? I just had it. I found, I found it. Hold on. I found the Nitro Grill menu. All right. Let's go and look at the Nitro Grill menu. What would we be getting if we were going to the Nitro Grill for lunch today? Oh, wrestling rings. Love that, first of all. First of all, absolutely love that. Thick cut uh, breaded onion rings, deep fried, served with Grey Poupon Bistro sauce. Grey Poupon was uh, ubiquitous in the 90s, much like pro wrestling. Broken fingers. I guess those are chicken fingers. That's hilarious. Yeah, dude, Van Hammer. That's insane. Yeah, Van Hammer was on there. Oh, God. I love uh, your, your chat. You're right. The freaking bunch of pun names is so good. I just could imagine being the writers for these uh, restaurants and you're just sitting there all day and you're like, what do we call the chicken fingers? Like, we're calling them the broken fingers. And you're like, yeah, we're good. Done. I'm going to lunch at the Nitro Bar and Grill now. See if I make that a little bigger for you. Cool. All right. Uh, wrestling rings, broken fingers, macho man nachos, corn tortilla chips piled high with Monterey Jack, cheddar cheese, black olives. Black olives on nachos don't belong. Don't belong at all, macho man. Headlock hot wings, clothesline quesadilla. That's probably the best one so far. I love a clothesline quesadilla. Is it just cheese or is it cheese, caramelized onions, green chilies, cilantro, served with guacamole and sour cream? Okay, cool. So it's like a it's like a real deal vegetable clothesline or it's like a real clothesline quesadilla. All right, that's fine. Uh, the gut buster combination of and ribs, headlock hot wings, jackknife fried cheese and broken fingers. OK, so that's like for 15 bucks, you could get a little bit of everything. Shrimp cocktail on the beach. Cool. Nature boy. Nature boy soups and salads. Yeah, because when I think of. Ric Flair, I think of soups and salad. Starcade Caesar salad. I absolutely love that. Slam and steak salad. Uh, chokehold chili. Mm. Bone jarring soup of the day. The soup du jour is bone jarring. Served with premium saltines. Premium. Premium. Uh, chat, don't forget to hydrate. Not just energy drinks. You can't just have caffeine all day. You have to have water. Oh, dude, are you planning a party or a special event? Get ringside with me. Help plan where the big boys eat. Love it. Goldberg with the fork and the knife. Do you think Goldberg took this picture with the fork and the knife? Or they just like edited in Goldberg holding those things. It's like a picture they already had. All right, uh, Diamond Cuts. Oh, dude, yeah, we're talking title match. I guess that's the uh, main course or whatever. Uh, let's see. Broke uh, Booker T-Bone. I love that Booker T had his own. Spring Stampede Sirloin. I love that. Flying Filet. Good. The Big Sexy Porterhouse. Mm, I could go for a Big Sexy Porterhouse right now. $23.99 for a 24-ounce steak back in the day. I feel like that's pretty good. Uh, the broken rib black eye. Oh, because it's the rib eye steak. Nice. Uh, choc oat. The desserts. They had desserts. Dude, this thing is a relative. This is like a cheesecake factory with wrestling stuff. The fact that this didn't uh, continue to exist is heartbreaking to me. I would love to go to the Nitro Grill. Uh, let's see. Chocolate power bomb, cheesecake uncensored. I'm saying. If I'm going to the Nitro Grill, I'm starting off. I'm going to start off for me personally. I do like hot wings, but I'm going to try this quesadilla. I'm interested. Oh, you can get it with chicken, too. I'm getting the clothesline quesadilla. Then obviously we're, moving, we're going like a five course. We're doing like a four course meal here. We're going. Yeah, we're going to the quesadilla. First of all, that's a good thing to share with the table. Who doesn't love a nice, warm, cheesy quesadilla? Then I got to go to the Starcade Caesar salad. Yes, I know the Caesar salad is high in calories, but it's the only type of salad that I truly enjoy because it's basically garlic, Parmesan, uh, and there. Oh, you can get chicken on it, too. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's just lettuce and dressing and crunchy little bread pieces and sometimes chicken. I'm going with the Caesar and it's Starcade. How do you not 
love Starcade. And then we're going, I'm definitely going with the Big Sexy Porterhouse. I don't think I've ever eaten a Porterhouse steak. Um, 24 ounces is a lot of steak as well. But I'm doing the Big Sexy Porterhouse because I want to be able to say Big Sexy Porterhouse in a restaurant and not have people go, you need to leave. Um, we also get, all steaks are served with ringside salad. So I got my ringside salad earlier. Oh, wait, is it, where's the ring? Oh, I get the ringside. Now I'm upgrading to the season. I know it's extra. I don't care. Oh, Dude, here you go. You get soup and bread as well. Or you get bread as well. Tag team your steak with Mysterio mushrooms or dropkick shrimp. Buddy, Mysterio mushrooms. The mushrooms have a little mask on them. Oh, dude, that's insane. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> Friday Fresh, just the NWO, the new world omelet. Dude, I, there's a breakfast. Is there breakfast? Hold on. I still got to get through the desserts. Uh, heavyweight hot fudge sundae. I'm getting the chocolate. I'm getting the uh, cheesecake uncensored. I went to WCW's Uncensored here when I was a kid uh, in Louisville. Uh, and cheesecake's my favorite dessert. I'm getting that. Big Boy Brownie, the Meltdown Mud Pie. Dude, I would have gone with the Bam Bam Bigelow Big Boy Brownie. I mean, what, what are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? We could have gone with that. Uh, soft drinks, fresh brewed tea. They did serve Pepsi products, which is a downside. You know, sorry, Pepsi product. Unless you want to sponsor. And then if Pepsi wants to sponsor the stream, then <laughs> I'm stoked uh let's see jackhammer java coffee espresso a slappuccino dude you could have got a slappuccino what are we talking about i would love a slappuccino what else we got a uh, chart busters burgers and sandwiches pack sandwich pack sandwich pack like x pack no they, they wouldn't have used x pack he was uh what was he known as he was six wasn't he yeah he was six in wcw Disco and themed. Oh, if you had a dis <laughs> chat chat, if you had a disco inferno themed meal, um, disco inferno would have been shrimp Diablo. It would have been shrimp Diablo to like an Italian dish, I believe. And no one would have ever ordered it. Somebody would have came in once, saw it and be like, ooh, and then got it and be like, eh. like a lot like disco inferno uh, in his career and life. Disco inferno burn. <laughs> Thank you. I truly am the uh, genius voice of a generation. Thunder Burger, Sting Burger. What's on a Sting Burger? Pepper crusted and topped with bacon, Monterey Jack cheese, fried onion rings, lettuce, tomato, and a special dressing. That's pretty cool. Pepper crusted burger. I like that. So Sting has got a lot of heat to it. The Hogan Burger includes hot sauce, anabolic steroids, and the N-word. What? No, I'm just kidding. Barbecue sauce, bacon, and cheddar cheese. Oh, I hate Hulk Hogan. <laughs> what a lame burger, too. I'm sorry. Like, what a lame burger for Hulk Hogan. Bur a barbecue cheddar cheese. Literally nothing to write home. Dude, the DDB uh, smothered in Cajun spices, black and topped with sautéed mushrooms, Monterey Jack cheese, and our house dressing. That's cool. I like that. What is the house dressing? Does it say what it is? All served with French fries, lettuce, tomato. Okay, so they all come with... All of our burgers are half pound fresh and they come with lettuce, tomato, onions in a pickle sphere. Pretty like bog stand uh, burger stuff. Uh, dude, El Dandy dips Friday freshness. That is so funny. If they had El Dandy themed anything, I don't care what it was. It could be. I hate pickles. One thing on this planet I do not like is pickles. If you like pickles, that's on you. Uh, I will never eat a pickle ever again. Uh, my wife makes me try them every like 10 years or so because she's like, maybe you like them now. And I take a bite of them and I like, nope, still hate pickles. Still think they're awful. Um, if they had an El Dandy fried pickles, I'd eat the whole thing out of respect for El Dandy because who am I to doubt El Dandy? I am not one to doubt El Dandy. Anyways, uh, the gold burger. So sick. Double decker half pound patties topped with cheddar Monterey Jack cheese tag team to make tag team to make it a one pound burger uh bret hart should not eat that uh let's see crippler crossface cheese steak oh no we shouldn't do that this hot thinly sliced roast beef sauteed peppers and onions mushrooms topped with the melted monterey jack cheese served with horseman sauce there's a sauce for the four horsemen i'm sorry but these are the conversations we need to have about wrestling i want to know i do not care what aew did in the quarter hour i do not care if wwe has sold more t-shirts than there are human torsos on the planet i want to know what you'd be ordering from the nitro grill and i want to know if you'd be interested in having the crippler crossface cheesesteak
I'm not eating it. <laughs> I'm not eating it. The Havoc chicken sandwich. Okay, Halloween Havoc chicken sandwich, essentially. Super Brawl steak sandwich, seven ounce or seven ounce ribeye, toasted bun, lettuce, tomato, onion served with our tangy mayo made with a one. Listen up. Souvenir menus are available at the gift shop. No five finger discounts. Chat, chat. I'm putting you guys on to two things and I need these two things. One, I want that Dusty Road. Uh, I'm sorry. I want the uh, I want that shirt that we saw earlier. I want Dusty is a fat dog weenie. I'll give you 200 for that. And if anyone has a nitro grill menu, 100 bucks for the nitro grill menu, 100 bucks. If you have this menu, a physical copy of this menu, I'll give you $100 for it. You can DM me on TikTok. I'm serious about both of those offers. Uh, in the arena, this is the main event. Okay, this is the other main event. Suplex Seafoods. Branding. Thank you. I got in early, boys. You're welcome. Uh, smothered Chicken. Uh, Nelson's Famous Ribs. Nelson. Oh, my God. There's levels to this menu. There are levels to this menu. Nelson's. Who's Nelson, you may ask? What about full Nelson and half Nelson? Dude, it's a ribs joke. It is a ribs joke about the full Nelson and a half Nelson. And I'm sorry, whoever was writing this menu should have been writing late stage WCW. We might still have WCW. The bodybuilder, the big boy's favorite, three grilled chicken breast and two baked potatoes. Oh, my God. They have something for the boys when they go. They're like, look, we understand that most of these are cheeseburgers and just like random. Like it's basically a TGIF. If you boys need to come in here and get three grilled chicken breasts with two baked potatoes to hit your macros, we got you. What a thoughtful thing. What a thoughtful little uh, addition. I love that. I love that. Two baked potatoes, <laughs> three grilled chicken breasts. Uh, suplex seafood. Uh, the superplex salmon filet. The backbreaker beer battered shrimp. That's good. Uh, power plant pasta. Shout out to the power plant. They even put over WCW's training ground in this. This menu is expertly done done expertly done uh jimmy hart's pasta fresh grilled chicken topped with fettuccine sauteed mushrooms tomatoes a spicy cajun sauce a pile up and it's penne pasta now listen on the bottom of this menu down here which you may not be able to see but i'll read it to you chat it says a 17 percent gratuity is added to seven a party of seven or more a uh, food pictured may not be the actual size uh, on the ropes what do we have oh are these little oh you get a souvenir uh these are drinks but you can get a souvenir glass uh, these are cocktails. So you have Absolute, uh, Seagram's, uh, what else is in here? Okay, so it's just like <laughs> topped with topped with Hanson's power? Please don't throw the furniture. What? <laughs> That's so weird. The Body Slam, which is Captain Morgan's, Parrot Bay, Coconut, uh, Banana Liqueur, Grenadine, Orange Juice. It says, don't hurt yourself. Dude, there's warnings on the drinks. That's crazy. Bashed at the beach. Cool. Shamboard, uh, Midori, Absolute, Pineapple Juice. Uh, no swimming after this one. Good Lord. Uh, they have frozen drinks, too, which is really fun. The Nitro Loco, the Woo, Off the Top Margarita, Powerbomb Slide, which is like a mudslide, which is ice cream in your liquor. Sharpshooters, uh, lemon leg drop. Okay, so they had like even themed, not only themed cocktails, themed frozen drink, and themed shots. That's fun. Stinger Splash, Shooting Star, Fear the Spear, which is Jägermeister, Parrot Bay, Coconut Rum, and Pineapple Juice. Oh my God, my stomach just turned. I would rather be, sp I would rather take a Bret Hart kick to the head from Bill Goldberg than drink the Fear the Spear. Jägermeister, Parrot Bay Coconut, and Pineapple Juice. Ew. 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 Interesting. Uh, am I going to Raw tonight? I was not playing. Where's Raw tonight? Is it? Is it in my city? Is it in Kentucky? If Raw's in Kentucky, yeah, I'll probably go. I have no idea. Oh, the kids menu. The kids menu. You got to raise them right because every kid needs to know about Bret Hart. Also, that Bret Hart, that Bret Hart picture. Why is he so wrinkly? Why'd you make him so wrinkly? Oh, wait, should we do the word search? Yeah, OK, we're going to do the word search. Oh, wait, I should probably do better. Oh my gosh, come here. We got to do the word search and then I'll have to bring up the picture and then we can draw on it. Give me a second. Let me bring up Photoshop. A new file. Close. Hold on. We're going to do the word search. I'm going to go quiet just for a second so I can edit this out later a little quicker.
Bear with me. Hold on, chat. One second. Almost there. There we go. All right. Let's get our pen tool out. Brush tool? Brush tool works. Does it? No, I need to brush, please. All right, cool. All right, let's find him. Bagwell. All right, you see Sting? All right, let's see. Okay, hold on. What am I... Okay, Bagwell, Big Papa, Booker T, DDP, Flair, Goldberg, Hart, Hogan, Kidman, Luger, Mysterio, Medusa, Nash, Nitro, NWO, Sting, Vicious, WCW. All right, cool. So, I see P-O-P, P-O-P-A. Oh, it's backwards. We got big... Oh, I don't want it to be that. On Control Z, that. Let's figure out our opacity. There we go. Make my opacity like 50%. All right, we got... Big Papa. Boom. Got him. Big Papa. We're done there. Uh, let's see. What else we got? You got heart too. Oh, man. You got chat. You guys are on it. You guys are on it. Uh, let's see. I'm not very good at these things. I see DDP. All right. So we got Big Papa. Got DDP. Let's see. Fan. <laughs> Fan. That's not one of them. Uh, let's see. NAS, no, N double A Medusa, M A D U S A, Medusa. And this shouldn't take me too long, chat, because, you know, I'm an adult and these were made for kids in the 90s. There's Stinger. Thanks, chat. Appreciate it. Need that one. Uh, let's see if I'm Bagwell. Double L's together. Should be able to locate those kind of quickly. Where's one of our L's? B A G, no, B A W. There's an L. There's double L's. No A's. Apologize. You hear the dog in the back. She's going crazy. Oh, wait. B-A-G. No. Wall. No. Well, there it is. He's backwards. Bagwell. Bagwell. Got him. Let's see. What else we got? Air. Oh, Luger. Luger. Are they all just sideways? Are none of these up and down? None of these up and down? Art. H-A-R-T. Oh, my gosh. They really, like, low-efforted this thing. I'm over here looking for, like, diagonals and up and downs. I haven't seen one. Oh, there's WCW. There we go. There's an up and down one. Okay. It wasn't all just sideways. Um, let's see. Let's see if I find Mysterio. Where's the Y's at? M Y no. See Mysterio. Chat. Reggie sees it. I gotta find it. M Y S T R I O. There he is, Mysterio. Cool. All right. That's probably enough of that. We got a bunch of them. All right. Back to it. Maybe we'll come back to that later. Maybe I'll finish that later today. Uh what else we got? Is that the end of the menu? Oh, that's fun. Name the singles wrestler. Uh, blank I, blank M, N, space, and then D, L, D, space. Okay. Name the wrestler. H, I, M. Well, this is Bret Hart here. I know this one's Bret Hart. This is Sting. Kevin Nash, Goldberg. Wait, what's this one? Oh, it's three words. Oh, it is Diamond Dallas Page. You're right, chat. It is. AJ Hoover's right. Uh, it is DDP. There you go. All right, where the big boys play, let's do the little, let's do this real quick. Here we go. Go through here. Wait, hold on. I go through here. One second, chat. Hold on, I go through the top. Okay, so I go through the top, then I go over here, and then we're going to go down through here? Why is this so hard to, like, I don't know, this seems off. All right, going around, going around, going around. Here we go. Here we go. We made it to where the big boys eat. Undefeated. Undefeated. We are smarter than late 90s kids. Uh, yeah, so the grill is sweet. Let's go back to the video. <laughs> Opening's not a matter of life and death, man. It's much more important than that. Oh, wow. The opening of the grill is beyond life and death. Yo, chat, some of these guys I haven't seen in a long time. So if you know who they are, shout them out. Shout them out. Dude, I know that is Kevin Nash. Look at that hair. He looked so good back then. Dang. Kevin Nash going to like what amounts to be a Chili's. <laughs> Alec Baldwin reference. Wait, what? What's he say? He said, watch out. I know Alex Baldwin. First of all, it's not his name. It's funny, though. Second of all, yeah, you should watch out. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Goldberg gets the cutout. I love that. What? Oh, my gosh. Is this like a Bash at the Beach themed dining room? I think it is like, look at the, they got the, they got the beautiful, beautiful lifesaver flotation devices here. This is kind of like a beach theme. Oh my God. I could, oh my God. I, I live, I want to be that kid so bad. I want to be that kid so bad. I couldn't imagine. I was a WCW kid. I love WCW back in the day. Couldn't imagine going to the WCW restaurant and Kevin Nash walks in. I'd cry. i so excited to see him. This kid is having like a day. If anybody, you know, because this does get around the internet from time to time. If anybody is this kid, 
let me know. You had the best day ever, and I want to hear about it. That's cool. Hell yeah. Oh, look, you got a suit jacket now. Somebody gave Kevin Nash a suit jacket. Dude, I love that. That's so funny. The merchandise. See, this so for those who aren't familiar with like the concept of a lot of these restaurants, like Planet Hollywood or the Hard Rock Cafe, like those type of places, they put the memorabilia on the walls. You go and you eat themed food. This was a big thing during the 90s when we used to be a proper country and we'd have goofy restaurants. Um, let's see, James, if you're just now joining us again, uh, we are watching the WCW Nitro Grill Grand Opening with Kevin Nash Sting and more. Uh, we also watched we also took a look at the entire Nitro Grill menu, which was, to say the least, very appetizing looking. Fish off. Oh, my gosh. All right. Bischoff's there. Kurt Hennings there. Look at him go. Love that blue suit on him, man. R.I.P. to the goat. Oh, so cool. Stinger without the makeup, but with all the fringe, with all the fringe, dude. Look at that. Jeez. Without the makeup, it's kind of weird to see, though. Heck yeah. Interviews with Kevin Nash. Jean Jean. Please say hi to the Nitro Girls. Shay and Storm. Gee, settle down. Settle down, Mean Gene. Joining us. I noticed him over at the fight tonight at uh, the event. Is K-Dog. Conan is here. Conan, I'm coming. I'm I'm trying to reach you back in time. Don't talk about the Lucha Brothers. Who are the Lucha Brothers? Don't worry about it. Just don't just don't talk about their stuff later. They'll be fine. Still joining us, one of the great superstars of World Championship Wrestling, Kurt Hennig is here. And dressed to the nines, I might add. Yeah. Put over the way he looks. He looks good. His bank rolls substantially over the last couple of days. Please welcome Ted DiBiase. Yeah. No also pop. The guy with the questionable haircut is here. Alexander Wright. As I said yesterday at the luncheon, a great haircut if you're getting ready to go to the chair. Whoa! I will not stand for that Alex Wright slam. Dude, I'm sorry. If you're not down with the dancing man from Deutschland, I don't know what to tell you. Alex Wright was something fun at back in the day. Talk about like a a goofy kind of gimmick, but he was just a German guy who liked to dance. It's real rude, Gene. A guy that was responsible for the making of a movie we're going to talk about a little bit later on. <gasps> Canyon is here. Canyon. And the guy with uh, a lot of... Do better. Moves, you know him, you see him on TV a lot. Glacier also joining us tonight. As is Van Hammer, we had a great, great night with Van <laughs> He's kind of trailed off at the end with Glacier and Van Hammer. Dale Torborg. Dale Torborg, for those who don't know, Dale Torborg was also the Kiss Demon. For those who don't know, this is Dale Torborg. Let me bring up a bigger picture. Good Lord, can I get up? Okay, well, that's all the pictures you get of Dale Torborg. He's just a, he, he was the Kiss Demon, for those who don't know. WCW had uh, somebody pretend that they worked with Kiss. Let's see. Wait, was he... He worked for Kiss, or he wasn't in Kiss. That wasn't, like, his gimmick. Like, here. there he is. He's behind me there. So that's Dale Torborg. And great body on him. Looks good. Don't get me wrong. But his gimmick was that he liked Kiss a lot, or he was with Kiss. I don't know. But it's funny that they mentioned Dale Torborg was there. Shout out, Dale. So the Master Blasters, a great young tag team that I expect to see a lot of are here. Chase Tatum and uh, Brett Hamner. The Master Blasters. Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah, the place is packed, man. If you're really having a good time. Dude, that Tommy, that Tommy Hilfinger shirt rips. Guy with the bucket hat over here is cool. Let me bring it over. You can't really see what I'm talking about. There you go. Now you can see everybody. Bucket hat guy rips. Uh, some of the Nitro girls in there, too, right here. I forgot their names. Yeah, man. Let's hear it. Moving things right along because we've got the party coming up later tonight. Please, once again... Welcome, my very dear, close, personal friend, and really, folks, he's very close to the president, Eric Bischoff. Very close to the president of the United States? Ah, good bit. Yeah, we like drinking. All right, what else we got? Master Saido, Michi, uh, thank you all for coming. They're coming from all around the world to be a part of a Nitro Girl. Give them a big hand. Master Saido, there you go. What a mark. Back in Japanese wrestling so mark, kind of Eric Bischoff. Yes, indeed. Ladies in time in Sting. 99, I will be the world heavyweight champion again. Oh, yeah. Ooh, stare down. But Nash looks a little three sheets to the wind already. Nash is like, no, you won't be champion. Do you know why? 
because I write the show, my friend. I write the show, and I I don't think so. Wrestling was so fun back in the day. Sting, just for your information, there is the Stinger lima bean casserole on the menu. It is that is a lie. Kevin Nash, that's a lie. You're lying to the fans, Kevin Nash. We looked at it. I did not see a Sting lima bean casserole. It would probably be delicious, though. You know, when we did the groundbreaking, uh, yeah, of I said the reason I wanted to... Yeah, Xander, of course I'm a mark. I'm using it as a term of endearment. Xander Carlisle in chat says, you're a mark too, man. Yeah, buddy. I'm doing a wrestling live stream. I'm reacting to WCW wrestlers at a rest from 20 years ago. <laughs> 25 years ago, basically. Yeah. I'm aware. This thing to go more than anything was because I wanted to have some place that I could go out and perform on a uh, weekly basis. And I know there's probably not enough Elvis impersonators in Vegas, but I just wanted to give you a little something here. And it goes a little something like this. Is he going to sing Elvis? Steaks, I've made a few, but then again, two few to mention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Welcome to the Nitro Grill. Buy the big sexy steak because everybody knows it's the best meat in the house. The big sexy porterhouse, Kev, I need you to stay on brand. That's why this restaurant failed. You did not stay on brand. It was not at all the fact that WCW went out of business. Have a nice night. Because you didn't put over the porterhouse correctly. It's the most expensive thing on the menu, Kev. I think. Well, I think that's what I had last night, right? Oh, and that Zoom? The Zoom? He says the best meat in the house. That's what I had last night. Watch this zoom. This zoom is crazy. This zoom is absolutely diabolical. Carl, I think that's what I had last night, right? <laughs> we were here, right, Carl? We were Dude. Here. Good. So later that was a shoot. Mean Gene Oakland's like, did I have that last night? I don't remember. I had about eight and a half martinis and I don't I blacked out. Don't remember a damn thing. Did we eat here? Did I eat last night? Gentlemen, I think we've said it all, and let's get ready to party. Take it away. Oh, yeah. Look at that can of Fosters. That was also something that happened in the 90s. America got really in love with pro wrestling in Australia. We really thought Australia was super cool. That can of Fosters weighs as much as like a newborn cat. It is, it's like, it's this big, it's like a, it's heavy thing. Not a newborn cat, like a six month old cat. What a blast from the past, man. Yeah, dude's an NWO fan. I wish they didn't mute his audio. I would have loved to hear his take. There we go. Answer so the Nitro Girls. Who, yeah, that's okay. I love the fact. I think that's super fun. I think that's, look at the, okay, so this is a dance floor, right? I assume they're dancing on it and it's got a wrestling ropes around it. I love the fact that the WCW lounge was like, you know what wrestling fans would really like to do is come out here and just, Dance their cares away. Dance, just dance the night away and watch WCW and eat the big sexy porterhouse and the sting lima beans. Dude, this place rips. That place is cool, man. For those who don't know, there was also WW. What was it? Uh, what was the WWF equivalent of this in Times Square? What was it called? Why did it fail? No, I just want to see the opening. I want to see the opening. We're gonna compare and contrast. WWF uh, restaurant club opening. This is from Access Hollywood. It's only a minute. Can you somebody give me like a walkthrough? Oh, come on. Why did it fail? I don't want to watch that. I want to watch physic. I want to physically see it. W inside what happened in the restaurant. So many videos about that. All right, let's see what Access Hollywood had to say back in the day. The new theme restaurant where you may have to wrestle. No, that's an inaccuracy. You wouldn't have to wrestle anyone to get your food. It's a restaurant. It's not a fight club. Access Hollywood spread uh, lies. Thank you. Down some meals and we were there as their top wrestlers like The Rock were welcomed as the new kids on the eating block. Dude. The good guys arrived to cheer. We're chatting the Rock's name. The bad guy. Rock, can you, uh, as quick as you can, can you describe what is currently going on? They're yelling the Rock's name. It's arrived to booze. They think I'm a bad guy, but they don't know. Look at these eyes. Would I be a bad guy? But either way, wrestling fans went wild for their favorite and not so favorite WWF superstars at the opening of a new restaurant. Oh, bar. man, young trips and young staff. In the middle of it all, and that's really where we belong. Early you belong in jail.
you, you belong in jail. Today, sexy female wrestler Ivory gave us a guided tour of the new 46,000. I'm sorry, what did you say about the female wrestler Ivory? Today, sexy female wrestler at the opening of a new restaurant bar in New York's Times Square. We're right in the middle of it all, and that's really where we belong. Earlier in the day, sexy female wrestler Ivory gave us a guided tour. Sexy female wrestler Ivory, who wrote this copy? Who wrote that copy for you? That's a weird thing to say. You didn't say hunky Triple H. I mean, granted, he was at his highest level of hunkitude at that time, but you didn't say that. It's a weird thing to say, Access Hollywood. Tour of the new 46,000 plus square foot complex. Okay, so this is one of our bars here. Access Hollywood, come with Ivory and have I love the fact that I also said, they said, sexy wrestler. Dude, she's dressed in, she's like dressed in business clothes. Cocktail. Okay, here we are in the nightclub scene. We got a dance floor for everyone to boogie down tonight and a stage. Now, you know, this used to be the old Paramount. Frank Sinatra sang on that very stage behind me. There's a really neat oh, that's room cool. I want to show you where people like Rock and Stone Cold will be doing their autograph signings. And it's a better week for WWF star The Rock, whose book, The Rock Says, just hit number one on the bestseller list. Put over the book. And record time, too, for that matter. It's fantastic feeling. Obviously, it's a testament to the passion of The Rock's fans. And you can also find The Rock gracing one of four special wrestling covers of next week's TV Guide, dressed in presidential garb along with Triple H, Mankind, and China. So that's what The Rock... Dang, dude. First of all, I gotta go back to that spicy Rock picture. Four special wrestling yeah the rock back then let me talk let the people's champ talk to you about wrestling oh man his head was as wide his neck was as wide as his head now his neck's bigger good uh chat says james is saying uh let's see the restaurant was the wwf the world that's right it was called the world you went oh my god you got to go oh was it magical i'm really jealous I'm really jealous. I wish I got to go. I really do wish I got to go. Um, this looks less fun than WCW Grill. I agree. I'm this is I would I like the WCW Grill. It seemed like there was a lot more fun things there. But then again, we did see more of it. Now, having said that, uh WWF the world didn't last that long either. Now it was mentioned or it was uh, a location in SmackDown Bring the Pain, I wanna say. Or shut your mouth, one of those two. That's fun. I like that. Nowadays, like, look, we used to be a proper country. We had two professional wrestling themed restaurants. Now, we don't have any. I know the times they are changing, and sometimes they change for the worse. We need more. I'm sorry, James and chat saying we have two. We have two. What are the wrestling themed restaurants now? I remember Ivory, which is someone they just talked about. She used to have a restaurant called the Squared Circle Bar and Grill or something like that in Chicago. We got wrestling restaurant, the Hulk Hogan place in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. The Wrestling Hall of Fame has a restaurant. I don't want to go to the Hulk Hogan's racist bar and grill. 